Hello and welcome to today's webinar, Data Centric Security, Why You Need It, How to Get Started, featuring John Kindervag of Forrester Research. My name is uh, Brian Mullins with Digital Guardian and I'll be your moderator today. Throughout our presentation, we encourage you to interact with our speakers by typing in questions and comments using the questions pane. We will be answering questions right after the presentation. Also, we get this question all the time, so let me answer it up front. We are recording today's session and we'll be emailing you a link to the recording in the next few business days. Okay. Uh, the agenda. So, John Kinderberg of Forrester will be the lion's share of today's presentation. He'll be talking for about 30 minutes on Forrester's uh, zero trust approach to data centric security. And then uh, Tony from Digital Guardian will give you just a five minute overview of Digital Guardian. And then we hope to leave about 10, 15 minutes for the live Q&A. Uh, so before I hand it over to John, just a quick intro. Uh, John is a 25 year veteran of the high tech world with numerous industry certifications. He's a leading expert on wireless security, network security, security information management, and PCI data security. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to John. Hey, thanks so much, Brian. Uh, really excited to talk to all you folks today about uh, data-centric security and how you can do that using the ideas that we call zero trust. So zero trust is an idea that, that has been taken off globally for the past few years. I hope you've heard about it. If you hadn't, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about it today and put it into the context of data because ultimately all these logos here share something in common and I'll bet you can guess that they've all experienced a data breach lately and there's different kind of data breaches represented here but in reality they all have the same problem that they share which is their brand is now tarnished by a data breach and there's all kinds of consequences that happen because of it so we think about this and 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 let's let's give it some more background some more context because there's something significant that happened in December of 2013 and that was called the target data breach 